on chapter 47, no choice. Despero stood trembling on the steps. The thread was most definitely gone. He could not hear it. He could not see it. He should have tied it to himself when he had the chance, but it was too late now. Despero's dire situation suddenly became quite clear to him. He was a two ounce mouse alone in a dark, twisting dungeon full of rats. He had nothing but a sewing needle with which to defend himself. And he had to find the princess. And he had to save her once he found her. It's impossible, he said to the darkness. I can't do it. He stood very still. I'll go back, he said. But he didn't move. I have to go back. He took a step backwards. But I can't go back. I don't have a choice. I have no choice. He took one step forward and then another. No choice. His heart beat out to him as he went down the stairs. No choice. No choice. No choice. At the bottom of the stairs, the rat Botticelli sat waiting. And when Despero stepped from the last stair onto the dungeon floor, Bonicelli called out to him as if he were a long lost friend. Ah, said Bonicelli, there you are. Exactly, I've been waiting for you. Despero saw the dark shape of a rat, that thing that he had feared and dreaded for so long, finally stepped out of the gloom and came to greet him. Welcome, welcome, said Bonicelli. Despero put a, his paw on the needle. Ah, said Botticelli, you are armed. How charming. He put his paws up in the air. I surrender. Oh, yes, certainly, exactly. I surrender. I, said Despero. Yes, said Botticelli. You? He took the locket from around his neck and he began to swing it back and forth. Back and forth. Please, go on. I don't want to hurt you, said Despero. I just need to get by you. I, I, I am on a quest. Really, said Botticelli. How extraordinary, a mouse on a quest. Back and forth, back and forth went the locket. A quest for what? A quest to save the princess. The princess, said Botticelli. The princess? The princess? Everything seems to be about the princess these days. The king's men were down here searching for her, you know. They didn't find her. That goes without saying. But now a mouse has arrived, and he is on a quest to save the princess. Yes, said Despero. He took a step to the left of Botticelli. How inspiring, said Botticelli. He lazily took a step to his right, blocking Despero's way. Why the hurry, my mouse friend? Because, said Despero, I have to, I have to. Yes, yes, you have to save the princess, exactly. But before you save her, you must find her, correct? Yes, said Despero. What if, said Botticelli, what if I told you that I know exactly where the princess is? What if I told you that I could take you right directly to her? Um, said Despero. His voice shook. His paw on the needle trembled. Trembled. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Why would I help you? Why, to be of service, to do my part for humanity, of course. To aid in the saving of the princess. But you are a... Uh, a rat, supplied Botticelli. Yes, I am a rat. And I see by your tr 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 trembling that the greatly exaggerated rumors of our evil nature has reached your oversized ears. Yes, said Despero. If, said Botticelli, swinging the locket back and forth, if you will allow me to be of assistance, you will be doing me a tremendous favor. Not only can I do a good deed for you and the princess, but my actions will help to dispel this terrible myth of evil that seems to surround rats everywhere. Will you let me assist you? Will you let me assist myself and my kind? Reader, was it a trick? Of course it was. 
Botticelli did not want to be of service. Far from it. You know what Botticelli wanted? He wanted others to suffer. Specifically, he wanted this small mouse to suffer. And how best could he do that? Why, take him right directly to what he wanted, the princess. Let him see what his heart desired. And then, and only then, faced with what he loved the most, would Despero die. And at the end of it all, how tasty the mouse would be, seasoned with hope and tears and flour and oil and thwarted love. My name, little friend, is Botticelli Remorso, and you, you may trust me. You must trust me. Will you tell me your name? Despero, Despero Tilly. Despero Tilly, take your paw from your weapon and come with me. Despero stared at him. Come on, said Botticelli. Let's go, let go of your needle, take hold of my tail. I will lead you to the princess, I promise. What, reader, is in your experience is the promise of a rat worth? That's right. Zero, zip, nada, nothing, goose eggs. But I must ask you this question, too. What else was there for Despero to hold on to? And you are right again, nothing. And so the mouse reached out and he took hold of the rat's tail.